Hi guys, DougaBudgetAstro.net. I'm back. Uh, at last. Uh, I know I say that at the beginning of every video, and I really apologise for that. I just don't get a huge amount of time to do these things, but um, I've got, as of today's date, uh, which is, what is it? Uh, 3rd of March. 3rd of March 2015, already. Soon be Christmas. Um, I've got nearly 1,800 subscribers on YouTube now, which seems crazy to me. Um, but um, yeah, several um, of them have uh, have recently um, pestered me <laughs> to do a new video, and uh, you know who you are, you guys, uh, and it's made me feel really guilty. Um, so I've uh, I, I know I've still got the second part of the uh, layer masking video to do, which I promise I'll get around to. I will eventually do it. Um, it's just so much to go in it, uh, and I need to work out how to do it. Uh, so in the meantime, I've uh, I've knocked this together, which is a nice, fairly simple little thing. Now this is um, noise reduction used in uh, blending modes, um, which is only really good for um, clusters and uh, galaxies. Not really good for areas that contain uh, a lot of nebulosity. Um, if you've got a lot of dark areas of uh, noisy sky in your image, then uh, it's, it's fine for that. Small areas of nebulosity, you may get away with it, but uh, you, you be the judge of that when you when you see the technique, whether it's uh, going to be any use to you. But um, certainly for clusters and uh, uh, small galaxies, it should be uh, it should be fine. I've never actually seen this technique um, anywhere else. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Uh, there may be thousands of people using it, but it's not something I've seen before. Um, I discovered this um, when I was doing a lot of clusters last year. About a year ago, I was doing an awful lot of clusters because I was uh, getting a little bit disillusioned with this uh, with this stuff. Um, basically, because my kit wasn't uh, up to scratch, um, so I was limited in what I could do. Um, so I ended up doing a lot of clusters. Uh, if anything, you know, I was I wasn't doing a great deal anyway. Um, so I had to throw some serious plastic at this uh, hobby to uh, upgrade the kit so much for budget astro um, but while I was doing the clusters I um, worked out this uh, this technique for reducing the noise so uh, as I say it may be quite common I don't know but I've never seen it before um, so hopefully it's all, uh, it'll be useful now the image you see before you is uh, M67 up there in Cancer um, pretty cluster uh, and this has been uh, stretched uh, a few times and if we zoom in uh, you'll see, look at that, horrendous, <coughs> that's the noise, one of the beauties of imaging with a DSLR, there you go, uh, we just have to put up with that, uh, and we're going to get rid of that, uh, but before we do that, uh, you probably can't see this, uh, but there is a very slight gradient in this image, um, which I want to get rid of, because that would affect um, what I'm going to do later. Um, and I've done uh, a video on this technique I'm going to use. This is slightly different. I'm not going to duplicate the image or anything. I think I duplicated the image in the other video. Trouble with doing these things is, these videos, I did my first one, I don't know, probably three and a half, four years ago. Uh, and of course, the, the, the methods I use now are completely different to what I used to do, to do then. I hadn't been doing this stuff for long then. Um, so they get a bit out of date. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce I'm gonna take the gradient out of this image, but using it slightly differently to what I did in the uh, previous video, uh, a little bit quicker. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, duplicate the layer, background layer, uh, twice in fact. Uh, and if you uh, click on it, see my mouse down here. Hopefully you can see that. I don't have very good video software, unfortunately, so I can't put um, you know stuff around the uh, uh, the cursor. Um, so I'll click on the background layer and drag it down to the create new layer icon which is down the bottom. This is CS5, Photoshop CS5 by the way guys, in case you didn't know. Uh, and let it go. Uh, and that uh, duplicates the background layer. Or you can do, if you if you, if you don't have the uh, facilities to do that, you can go up to layer, duplicate layer, click on that, uh, and then click OK and that will duplicate the layer as well. OK, I'm going to duplicate it twice, I'm going to do it again. Background copy, I'm going to drag down to that little uh, button down there and let go. And uh, so I've got two copies of the background layer now. OK, now we're going to turn the uh, top layer off, background copy 2, click on the eyeball, that'll turn it off. Uh, and then select the layer beneath, background copy. Uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to clone out um, the cluster. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to blur this layer and uh, we want it to be a nice flat background. And uh, if we blur it with this uh, large cluster right smack bang in the middle, 
uh, that, uh, that area will probably come out a lot lighter so we need to clone that out and that will go for whatever image you're doing if you've got a large galaxy or anything bright uh, in the image, a large group of stars that are very bright then clone them out because uh, they could interfere with the flat colour when you've uh, blurred it. So we select the clone stamp, one that looks like a rubber stamp, um, alt and then click on an area next to the area that you want to clone out, click on that and then over the cluster, click it a few times and there you go, it's gone. Okay, now go up to filter, blur, Russian blur, this is the same as the last video I did. Um, 250 selected, which is fine, I'm, I'm normally quite happy with 250. Uh, click OK, let Photoshop think about it for a few seconds. A few more seconds. There you go. Um, and that's, uh, that layer is now completely blurred. Now when you do one of these videos, uh, you tend to do the, I do it all in little steps because uh, my laptop um, lags a bit and the uh, <coughs> the sound gets ahead of the um, or behind the picture um, but uh, so you, you do it a few times and I've, I've reviewed um, this stage uh, as I've been doing this video and that blurred image looks horrendous in the video there's all, all wavy lines all over it so I'm hoping it's not going to look like that in the final video but it's meant to be and it will be when you do it uh, a relatively flat colour. There'll be some gradient because that's what you're going to get rid of, but it should it should be a relatively flat colour. Now we're going to apply this relatively flat colour uh, to the layer above. So click on the eyeball, background copy two, now selected, um, and then go out to image, apply image, and this, this box will crop up. And where it says layer, we want to select background copy. That's the one we blurred. You want to select the layer you blurred in there, background copy. And where it says blending, you want to subtract down the bottom there, I think, yeah, subtract. Um, offset 30, you can change that and that varies the darkness of the image. So we'll leave it at 30, click OK, and that image has now been applied. Now if you uh, hold the Alt key down on a PC, can't help you Mac guys I'm afraid, hold the Alt key down on a PC, uh, click on the eyeball next to background, background layer at the bottom there, and it turns the layers above off. Uh, and if I go on and off like that, you can see the uh, gradient has disappeared, hopefully. Um, pretty obvious on mine, but it might not be so obvious on uh, when you watch the video. So uh, that seems to have done the trick. Now if we right click on uh, background copy, merge down, and that's merged down with the blurred, uh, blurred layer below, and uh, we've got background and background copy. And again, if I turn the top layer off, you can see the uh, gradient has gone. And now we're getting to the point of this video, which wasn't this. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate the top layer again, background copy, we're going to have another background copy too. And um, you may feel that uh, what I'm about to do is very similar to what I've just done. Um, and it is similar. Uh, we go through the first uh, few steps, so exactly the same. Um, so I turn the uh, top layer off, uh, select the uh, background copy, the one below it, uh, and we're going to clone out the uh, stars and then blur it again. So here we go, clone stamp, already selected, uh, Alt, click, area next to the cluster, click click, cluster's gone, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 250, click OK, and let Photoshop do its magic. There you go, sorted. Now this is a fun bit, uh, select background copy 2, click on the eyeball to make it visible, and blended modes, which is where it says normal there, Click on that, and we're going to select Lighten. Now if we zoom into this image, there we go, and then Alt on a PC, uh, and click on the background layer, Eyeball, on and off. Hopefully you can see the difference, let me zoom in a bit more. There you go. On and off, there's a difference. But we can do more than that. Now whilst keeping the top layer still visible, if you click on the layer below, background copy, and then do Alt, no sorry, Control, Control L, that will bring up the Levels dialog box, hopefully you can see that. Um, click on the grey arrow in the middle, um, and I'm using the scroll key on the mouse here, just to lighten that layer. Basically, I'm moving that uh, <coughs> excuse me, moving that grey arrow to the left towards the histogram, and that's lightening the layer, the background copy layer, the one that I blurred. That's what's being lightened, 
uh, and you can see the effect through the background copy two at the top. Now if I click on preview, click that preview button on and off, you can see more of the noise is gone. Um, there's a bit of a trade off here guys. Uh, you can you don't want to lose any of the detail in the image. Um, so I'll move that up a little bit more. Click on preview. Uh, click OK for now and then zoom back out. But you want to be careful not to lose any of the faint stars. So if we go onto this area here. Now if I do the same again, Alt and click on the background layer. Um, the stars are still there but I think that's overcooked it a little bit so I'm going to go back into background copy, control L to get uh, levels back up and I'm going to darken that layer again a little bit uh, click on the black key this time and I'm using my wheel to move it up a bit that should do it, click OK click on Alt again and background layer and the stars are fine now As you can you see, you see all the stars, you can see the halos around the stars so that doesn't look too bad so I'll zoom out again, all the way out. I'll do it. And now I'm going to merge the top layer with the one below, the blurred layer. Merge down. And now if we uh, alt click again, alt and click on the, or oh, just turn the top layer on and off. Silly bugger. Um, okay, turn that on and off. And you can see the difference. Now just make sure that you've got all the detail in the image. If you're, if you're doing a galaxy, you may find the faint edges of the galaxy have disappeared. So you do have to be careful here. It's a bit of a trade off. Um, but if I zoom in, the difference in you know the noise is uh, unbelievable. Really, um, huge amount of noise taken out of that. Okay, zoom out again. Um, bosh, there you go. Now, if we look at um, the histogram, that's what we got now. Uh, and if I turn that top layer off, that's what it was before, and that's what it is now. So it's given us a lot more movement in the uh, in the histogram as well, um, as you can see. Uh, we didn't have any movement at all before. Now we've got all that. So I'll turn that off. And uh, control L to get levels up. And I'll just darken this image a bit. Tighten it up a bit. Not all the way. Not too dark. OK. Click OK. And there you go. I'll zoom in. And there's your difference. And the stars still look quite reasonable to me. Well, they do to me. I may mean, not to you, but they look fine to me. So there you go guys, uh, noise reduction using uh, blend layers, probably been done loads of times, loads of people, you probably already know this, um, but I only discovered it last year, so um, yeah, if you already know it then just ignore me. Um, okay, that's all, uh, yeah, I hope you find that useful, uh, as I say, good for, don't overdo this, don't, don't use it um, more than once or so, I mean, probably one of the last things you do, then you can just maybe give it a tiny stretch at the end. But uh, if you if you use it too much, um, you start to get different coloured flecks in the background, which is a bit irritating. Um, so yeah, don't ever do this uh, this technique. Uh, you can probably only use it once successfully. Um, but uh, yeah, it does the trick on clusters and galaxies. So uh, yeah, I hope you uh, found it useful. And uh, I'll see you again. I won't say see you again soon, which is what I normally say because it won't be. It'll probably be another year. But uh, I'll see you again in another year. All right, guys. Thanks very much, bye.